Today we are going to be taking a look at this rather little but very functional manufactured home featuring just over 1,200 square feet, three beds and two baths. We're going to start the tour by taking a look at the outside and then we are going to be taking a look at the inside. So let's get started. Right from the outside this is actually a very nice looking home. We have this large porch on the outside right as you enter the home. We'll get to that a little bit later once we are entering the home but we have this green siding on the outside with these uh, large windows all throughout the house. We do have water access right over here. As we go along, we do see also a power outlet here. Here's a quick look on the bottom side of the house. From the outside, this home is pretty basic. Uh, like I said, I do like the windows and things like that. However, the inside is really what matters and this home does bring a lot to the table on the inside. I do like the big porch here. We have a really farmhouse style look on the outside. This porch does give you a lot of usability. You can just sit here and relax on a nice sunny day, which today is not a sunny day, but it would be a very nice view if you had uh, this home placed on the lake. And it is all covered, so whether it's raining or sunny, you can still be out here no matter what. You do have pretty big windows here as well to give a lot of natural lighting into the home. And also you have this uh, door here, which does also have windows to bring even more natural lighting into the home. But that's about it for the outside. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. All right, so right as we step into the inside of the home, we are welcomed by a very open concept design. And I really like what they did on the inside of this home. It's a little bit more of a modern design slash farmhouse. And like I said, this home is just over 1,200 square feet. So it really isn't a lot of living space, but they still were able to utilize the space very well and give maximum space inside the home. We have this decent sized living room here with a modern ceiling fan, which also does have a light. But as you guys can see inside of the living room, we don't have any lights on at the moment. And there's still a lot of lights coming in here, even with it being a foggy and cloudy day. As we walk into the kitchen, we are welcomed by this large island here. This really nice quartz looking countertop, which is of course laminate, but it does look nice. We do also have a dining table located kind of in the kitchen, which might not be what you prefer, but it isn't honestly a really bad uh, design, especially with how small the space is in here. We do have the large window here once again, and the cabinets are pretty nice as well. We have these uh, brushed nickel handles on these cabinets and a little bit of some uh, recessed lighting on here as well. We do have a large farmhouse sink with uh, this new design where we have it kind of all open allowing maximum usability of the sink. More of this really nice countertop and a pretty nice uh, electric stove here. Also, this has been really popular as well in these kind of homes, this really uh, slim microwave, but it is usable. It is very nice still, I do like it, especially for the size of this kitchen. Here's the other side of the island. Pretty usable space here. We have these two individual lights coming down from the ceiling. They do look pretty nice here with this farmhouse design. Stepping into the laundry room, we have also an access door right here. We have even a sink located in here, which is pretty nice. And it is a pretty deep one as well. So you can definitely do a lot of laundry work in here. Here's where you place your laundry machines. There's the furnace and you do also have the electric roll box right here. Continuing on with the home, we do also have uh, some storage here as well a pretty big pantry as we continue on to the hallway it is a pretty long hallway you do also have lights here as well to brighten up the area we have this pretty decent sized bedroom here this is one of three bedrooms and we do also have a pretty big closet in here uh, you can call it a walk-in closet honestly it is a pretty big one as well so uh, that is definitely a nice feature for this one. Here we have the guest bathroom. Pretty standard, basic uh, bathroom, nothing too much in here. We do have a bath surround. More of the similar design here that we saw in the kitchen. The mirror and also a vanity light. Nothing too much here, pretty basic, but that is what you get with this one. Moving along here, we do have even more storage here. If you just want to keep towels or laundry material in here, you can do that. Here's the second room. We do also have this pretty large window here. It is kind of put in the corner of the room, which I would prefer to be more of the middle, but it is fine. It does still allow for pretty good uh, lights in here. Here's the walk-in closet as well. And on the other side of the second bedroom, we have the master bedroom. As you guys can see, it's actually a pretty big size here. We also have a pretty decent sized window here as well, which allows a lot of natural lighting. Ceiling fan. And as we step here, we have the master bathroom. A lot of lighting here was placed in the master bathroom. And it's pretty good size as well. Like I said, this is 1,200 square feet and we still have double sinks. They are individual, 
but this is how they were able to get still double sinks in here. We also have a light that shines onto these tiles here. Really nice design, but these aren't actually tiles. You guys can listen to it. These aren't actually porcelain or ceramic tiles, but they still do look nice. And they definitely did make me think that this was actually real tiles. So this will do for some people. We also have this modern looking shower head that has a lot of features. You can have water coming out of all of these areas. We also have more cabinet storage here and here as well. They are all, all soft closing as well. And we have a subtle window here to allow some natural lighting into the bathroom. In the master bedroom, you will also find this pretty big walk-in closet which allows for a lot of space here. You can have a lot of things in here. But that is going to wrap up this tour. Let me know if you guys like this home in the comment section down below. I personally really like this home, even though it was only just over 1,200 square feet. I really like how they were able to put a lot of space in here. They really did make a use of all the space that they could possibly get in this home while still including three bedrooms and two baths. The overall design of this home is also one that I really like. I also like the uh, exterior patio as you get into the home it does allow for uh, nice relaxing vibes when you are sitting out there whether it's a sunny day or a rainy day you can still be out there that is going to be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy please make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and i'll see you guys in the next video